Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is a new video on SAP S4 HANA project systems. And in this video, we are going to learn about validations and substitutions in project systems. Do not forget that we are also having an upcoming batch on SAP S4 HANA project systems where you can learn project systems end to end. And do not forget to register for it. The link of registration is in the description. You can also register by clicking on the QR code on the screen. And do register before 12th of November to get an early bird discount of flat 10% off on the course. Register now and become an S4 HANA product systems expert, which is a niche skill in finance consulting. Now let us learn about substitution. Now again, for validation, you can write, you have, I have written a validation for project definition. Similarly, you can write a validation for WBS element also in the same way. You have something called prerequisite, check and message and for network header and network activity. So the whole idea is writing a prerequisite through some field, then writing a check through some another field and then giving a message that if that field is not met, if that prerequisite is met and check is not met, then a warning or an error message is displayed by the system by assigning this particular validation to the project profile and by allowing it as an automatic validation i can trigger this error message or the warning message whenever i am saving the project now let us write one substitution so let's write a substitution so my requirement is that if the level of the WBS element is 1, then its name should be replaced with the name of the project definition. That is, whenever I am creating a level 1 WBS element, its name should match with the project definition name so that I can know that yes, this is the level 1 WBS element. So this time I will have to write a substitution for the WBS element part. So I will click here. I will click on substitution. Then I will give a key to this press enter and then I'll enter this step here now whenever I am entering a step here it will automatically take a 001 and then I'll enter the name of this step so substitution substitution for level 1 WBS element okay now you can see there are two sections here only one is the prerequisite and then substitutions if prerequisite is met so my prerequisite is that my level of the wbs element is equal to one and when it is met what fields i'm trying to substitute so i'll go to the prerequisite part again i'll double click the prps table because it is for the work breakdown structure and then i'll search for the level field go here double click here then i I'll click on equal to and then constant and here one here. So I am checking that if the level of my W base element is equal to one, what kind of substitution I want to do. So here you can see X field is substituted by. So X field is the field which I want to substitute and is substituted by is the field against through which I can sub I want to substitute this field. So I'll just write here, then you will understand clearly. So if I click on plus, a pop-up will open. I have to select the field which I want substitution for. Means for which I want to write the substitution. So that is the project, that is the WBS element description, right? So I'll select this particular field. I think it is, yes, POST1 description. So I'll select this. And then I'll get another pop-up. How would you like to substitute field PRPS POST1 with? That is, how do I want to substitute this value? So I have three options, constant value, exit, and field assignment. So here, what, what is my requirement? I want to substitute the description of the level 1 WBS element with the sub description of the project definition. So I'll select the third option because it's not a constant value. It is a field value. So I'll select the third option, I'll continue. And 
here i'll have to write the particular field of the project definition so that is again proj let me see the table then i'll understand it better so to see the table you have to go to t code sc 16 n and proj so you can see the description is again post1 here also so i'll write proj post1 okay so again if i click on step 001 this substitution is created for me and this substitution tells me that if the level of w base element is equal to 1 that is i'm creating a first level w base element my description has to be substituted by the description of the project definition okay and let me save this so again if i want to automatically call this substitution whenever i am saving the project how can i do that i have to assign this substitution to the project profile so i'll again go to the project profile go to this project profile and here in the substitution for the w base element i'll assign this particular substitution we'll test this then you will understand it better so let us go to the cj20n so let me create a project here so i'll go to the project creation i'll enter nex02 here let's say let me create a project here so i'll create nex03 here so the name of this particular project is project definition nex03 let us save this now let's create a w base element here now this w base element i'll give a different name and then we'll test whether our substitution works or not what our substitution tells is that my if the level of the w base element is 1 then its name has to be substituted by the name of the project definition so we'll give it a different name let's say test for substitution and level of this w base element is 1 but will the substitution trigger automatically that we'll have to check in the project profile configuration because as for the validation also there is a checkbox there so let us see the project profile configuration here again i'll go to the project profile because this is very important if you do not allow that checkbox then system will not carry the substitution automatically so let us check whether the substitution is for automatically activated or not so let's see here you can see this is not checked here so what i'll do is i'll check this so what will happen whenever i am saving the project this substitution will be automatically applied to the w base element so i'll save this project profile here okay now let's open the project builder again then we'll check our sub substitution whether it works or not so i'll go to cj20 and i'll open my project here and i'll create a w base element here let us go to the display it is in display mode right now so i think it is open in some other okay let me close it from here and let me again create a project a w base element here so test for substitution now this w base element has level 1 where can i see that i have to go to the project definition click on overview here so i can see the level of this w base element is 1 let us go again here so what my substitution is that if i save this project the name of the level 1 w base element will be substituted or replaced by the name of the project definition that is 
project definition and ax03 so let us save this and test this you can see system has automatically replaced the name of this particular wbase element as project definition nex03 because the name of the project definition is nex03 and the level of this wbase element was 1 now let's create a level 2 wbase element and check whether this works or not or let us create by the tree itself so i'll click here and create a wbase element under this again let's test it for substitution it should not be replaced because our substitution only works for level 1 w base elements and this is a level 2 where can i see that i can go to the project definition go to the overview so you can see this is a level 2 w base element so my substitution will not work on this particular w base element it will only work on level 1 so let us test that so let me save it you can see the name has not changed why because the level of this w base element is 2 so this is how you write a substitution i hope you have understood this concept i will request you to write your own validations and substitutions so that you learn it better the more you write it the more you will learn it and based on your client's requirement you can configure these messages and configure these replacements through substitutions so that your project is foolproof is watertight whenever a user makes a mistake either system gives him or her error our system automatically replaces the field with the required value. This is the whole concept of validation substitutions. I hope you found this video useful. If you are having any comments on the content, please do let us know in the comment section. We will try to make as many changes as possible. And again, do not forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And do not forget to register for the upcoming online project systems training batch. See you in the next video. Take care.